fuck did I marry? This is the interlude, basically. Um, I'm not recapping on this video. I'm just kind of answering some stuff that has been written to me. Someone was like, why are you airing your business out on social media? <sighs> it's a valid question. Um, for me personally, I feel like this was traumatic to experience, to live through. Um, and I will, and I'll expound on that on another video, the aftermath of the toll that this took. Um, honestly, <laughs> and it, I know some people are going to be like, that sounds crazy. It is kind of cathartic to get this out because I cannot tell you how much of this has been internalized um, since 2020. Also, I don't want to seem like a cautionary tale to other women or to men for that matter, but to my sisters, to my ladies, white, black, Hispanic, Asian, doesn't matter. If something does not sit right with you, investigate it. Um, I cannot stress that enough. If just one woman watches these videos and she's like, you know what? Something don't sit right with me. Let me look into this. Um, then it was worth it. Yes, it is a Lifetime movie. Yes, it is Netflix. Yes, it is crazy. Yes, it is hilarious also. Um, and I understand all of those reactions. As someone who lived it, Um, it was traumatic, but I feel like, God, it feels good to finally admit, um, what the fuck I went through. And again, by the time this is, uh, uploaded, I'm only to January of 2021, right after getting married. So when I think back on it, there's things that I'm very, very grateful for. Um, there are things that I'm just like, why, why did you not pay attention? Why did you not question? Um, and the sad part is I can't even begin to tell you, I don't remember the woman I was before I met that man. I don't remember. Um, because going through something like that, it changes you. And I've seen some women in the comments who were like, I was married to a habitual liar. I was married to a pathological liar. My baby daddy's a, a pathological liar. And my heart goes out to them because until you have dealt with someone so depraved, you, you really don't quite know how bad it can get. Um, so I'm fully aware that this was a risk, putting this out on social media, telling my story, my truth, and really kind of being like, look, this is, this is what I went through. I made dumb decisions. I overlooked things I should not have overlooked. I argued away things I should not have argued away. Um, I can pinpoint exactly the moment I should have left. I still feel like God is sitting on the throne and he's like, I never planned for your monkey ass to marry him. I never even planned for you to go out and date with him. That's why I blew your tire. But you hard headed and you went anyway. And then I tried to go ahead and show you signs. You ignored them. Like I feel like God did everything to help me as his child be like, this is not who I created to be your your helpmate. And I was like, God, you taking too long. I want to get married. You taking too long. I want to have a family. You taking too long. And these are the consequences that I am paying for basically telling God you took too long. 
And um, I feel like God's grace is sufficient. It is. But at the same time, and I'm not perfect. I mean, not perfect at all. None of us are. But I do feel like when I sit back and I replay the events that happen, I truly cannot believe that was my story. Because all I wanted was to meet a guy, for him to be my best friend, for us to get married, have a family. I wanted someone I could make fun of his big old forehead and he make fun of my nappy head and all my wigs. And yet he was my ride or die. Um, I wanted someone that I could be like, man, help me with these kids. And he helped me with the kids. We had a nice home. We were comfortable. That is what I wanted. And I've said this before, and I say it again. I truly thought, I truly hoped it was my turn. You see the women who are, you know, so happy and, um, you know, they're in these loving marriages and life just looks good. I really, really wanted it to be my turn. And so I excused away a lot of stuff that I hope the next woman who sees this does not excuse because I don't wish this on anybody. I don't wish this on anyone to feel the way I felt the moment I discovered the whole truth. Um, So I just wanted to say that because I think it's important to try to answer the why is she posting this? Honestly, I was tired of holding it in. I was tired of holding it in. Um, and I hope it helps somebody. Okay. Let's all take a deep breath. Ooh. Let's all get some sleep. Um, if you don't have anything to do and you just want to wish me a happy birthday, wish me a happy birthday tomorrow, February 15th. Shout out to Team Aquarius. Good night, y'all.